When the camshaft fails in your ISX and you're looking at an expensive repair, we know you're looking for the best option out there. That's why Highway and Heavy Parts carries only the highest quality camshafts for your Cummins ISX engine. There are multiple points of failure associated with this camshaft in this engine, and even more if you have the dual cam engine. Today we're taking a look at the changes from the dual cam design to a single cam setup and what that means for your Cummins ISX. Before we get into today's video, if you're looking to keep your diesel engine running at peak performance on the road, be sure to hit the subscribe button and your search for answers and engine components with our industry-leading technical service and parts featured here at HHP. Also, be sure to check out highwayandheavyparts.com for our online resource library offering additional help for all major heavy-duty makes and models. Hit subscribe, get informed, get back on the road with America's trusted diesel engine parts supplier. An important thing to note about the Cummins ISX is they made two different engines, a dual cam and a single cam. One of the benefits of the single cam system is a reduction of failure points in your engine. The dual cam is the earlier model. It had one camshaft that operated the valve train and another camshaft that ran the injectors. This was an area of heavy wear and created possible failure points in the engine. When the engine went to a single cam with high pressure injection, they eliminated this failure point. Because of the design of the injection system and the immense amount of pressure, the load on the injection camshaft was heavier than the load on the valve cam. So removing that camshaft really removed a, a likely point of failure. Similarly, the change in design removed a heavy component out of the engine and it took a lot of horsepower to drive it. So the move to a single cam engine actually made the engine more efficient. The move to a high pressure common rail system also allowed the engine to better meet emission standards. And you're getting more precise timing with this system to increase your efficiency and your fuel economy. As we mentioned on the dual cam engine, a common failure point is the injection cam itself because of the high amount of wear you see. The injection cam also presented somewhat of a problem when it was taken out. It's unique camshaft in that it's hollow and it feeds oil from the inside out. Debris can build up inside the cam and when it's removed and set on the ground, this buildup can break free. The resulting debris can plug oil holes and cause problems with the cam bearings. So this is another problem the single cam high pressure system addressed. The dual cam engines also had some wear points with the rollers and rocker levers. On this setup, the injector cam runs a lever and the lever pushes on the injector plunger, which actuates the injector itself. All of these points are opportunities for further wear and failure, whether that be pitting in the cam or the roller sliding. When the design went to a single cam system, all the failure points were removed as well. Perhaps the most common failure issue is going to be pitting or erosion, which is a result of wear that would come from the roller that rides on the camshaft. Oil change intervals are extremely important as well, as extended oil change intervals or coolant dilution into the oil will cause wear on the camshaft and the camshaft bearings. It's important to know that the dual cam injector camshaft lives horizontally. Because it's oil fed through the center of the camshaft, it spins. So a lot of companies use what's called a centrifugal oil filter. The idea is the filter is gonna use centrifugal force to pull the stuff that's not supposed to be in the filter to the outside. This results in oil passages starting to get reduced size and because that it's solid buildup. This can result in a spun cam bearing on startup. When the cam is removed for repairs, and a lot of times it's set on end, and even a small impact can cause some of the material to break loose inside. When it's put back into the engine, it can block oil passages, which result in a cam bushing spinning, which ruins the head and the cam. To prevent this though, a soft plug on this particular cam needs to be removed. Inside of the camshaft push should be cleaned, and then the plug should be replaced. Cummins has a service parts topic out on the installation of these camshafts, which we recommend taking a look at. It's important to note the proper way to clean these camshafts and that you might need special tools like a timing wedge to help fine tune the engine to run more efficiently. Our mission is to take the risk out of buying diesel engine parts for our customers. So if you're looking for affordable OEM quality diesel engine parts with expert advice on the other end of the line, we're here to help. 
If you have any questions, you can call any of our ASC certified technicians at 844-447-1453, or you can chat with us online at highwayandheavyparts.com. Be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button on YouTube, Facebook, and all our additional social media channels to stay up to date on all news and information from Highway and Heavy Parts. From diagnosis through delivery, we will be there.